Welcome to a demo of Flybeck Airbus 320 on a Microsoft Surface Pro. Please note that this video is a movie of the computer screen in real time. The quality of the actual screen is better than seen in this video. This version is not optimized to run on a Surface Pro, which has no dedicated graphics card. After start with the outside visual on, the frame rate is rather slow, because of lack of dedicated graphics card. By using the function key, F8, the visual can be switched off, and back on again. Note the increase in frame rate, with visual off. Flydeck Airbus 320 comes with the latest, LIDA navigation database. Using the quick set icons, we can quickly position the simulator to a specific situation. We now enter our routing from Zurich Airport to Frankfurt Airport. Here we added some company specific routes, those can be customized. Since the IRS are not aligned, we do not get a useful map display. We can move to the overhead panel with one click, and then switch on the three IRS. Use the zoom in and zoom out icons, on the lower right side. Let's set the simulator to take off position, runway 28 and Zurich. We verify the position by switching on the outside view. A right mouse click on any cockpit panel will center the panel for better viewing. We check the flight plan now, for better performance outside view is now off. FMS entry can be done using the mouse, the touch screen or the keyboard. Now we choose an arrival route to Frankfurt Airport. Using the quick set icon on the upper bar, we can directly set the simulator into a final position.
we verify the position by switching on the outside view. As mentioned before, with the outside view on, the frame rate and response is slow on this Surface Pro. We now do an auto land approach to runway 07 left in Frankfurt. A mouse click on a CRT will enlarge the screen into a floating window. Please note that landing configuration is already set. Gear is down and locked. Flaps are at full position. Let's have a quick look at the current frame rate per second. Note that below 400 feet radio altimeter, the FMA changes to land. With some wind from the left, we have a wind correction angle of about 5 degrees. The thrust levers must be retarded to idle when retard is announced. In this demo we did not set reverse thrust, but this should be selected with every landing. We now switch the visual on and cancel the pause. We have now a slower frame rate. Now we would like to look around in the Airbus cockpit, using the quick setting icons. There are two icons for the FMGS enlargement in a pop-up window, one for captain side and one for co-pilot side. We select the cruise quick set icon. Now we have the option to decide how long the simulator should have been above flight level 300. This is a major influence on gravity fuel sealing. Check your Airbus manual for more details. The outside view depends on local time settings, here it is noon.
Flydeck 320 lets you check out some important system diagrams. Let's start with the electrical overview. This is the fuel diagram. You will get a better understanding of this system by checking this page in every phase, including refueling on ground. This is the hydraulic system with all its controls. Fluid flow is animated in this diagram. On the malfunction index page you will find a lot of malfunctions that are known from full flight simulators. Thanks for watching this demo of Flydeck 320 on the Microsoft Surface Pro.